welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified for all my future videos. Vamos a empezar. Today we're going to work with some Savvy Land Jelly Blue that came in one of my other kits and some really pretty kitty cat decals. And I just wanted to play around with this Jelly Blue because... Like I said in my previous video, it gave me all the vibes and I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial for you all. I already prepped my nails, I put on my tips off camera, and I'm just going in with my base coat, curing that for 60 seconds as always. Then I'm using Jelly Blue. Now this one came in the previous kit that I put a video out on, um, but it kind of reminds me of like the McCart Jelly Blues. So I think I'm going to have to do a review on that one because this jelly blue is just so beautiful. Now the consistency was a little um, sticky, but if you put like a lot of slip and you keep your brush clean, it was not horrible to work with. But I really loved how it was so sheer and it was just a nice really deep blue so the more that you built it the darker the color got so i really i really loved it working with one bead at a time but if I notice that I need to build my apex more I cure it and then I go back in and just add another bead now because this poly gel was very sticky um, I didn't go in at the same time and put the bead you know at the same time so I just cured everything first and then I did my second bead but I just wanted to do a simple all blue jelly look and I know sometimes people appreciate the simpler life so I figured I'd do something a lot more simpler than what I've been doing in my previous posts.
manicured all of my nails for 60 seconds. I just went off camera and did my buffing, my filing, and my shaping, and they just are beautiful. I am going in with my decals that I got in from AliExpress. I've never used like these little kitties before, so I figured I'd be a little adventurous with the kitties. And you just put them in water. I love these because it reminds me of like those childhood tattoos where you like, you know, soak your tattoo in water, but this is really cool. Like, I, really, I feel like a child again when I do my little decals. But anyhow, I let them soak in there for about 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. It really just, look, do it based off of when they pop off the paper. Once they pop off the paper, then, then you know when it's time to put them on your nail. Now, when I did my butterfly video, I realized that I had like the scratches underneath the decal. So I figured I'd do it different this time in regards to placing my decals. So um, I put my top coat first and then I dried my decal with a little paper towel and then I placed it on my nail. And the only reason why I did that is, like I said, because in the butterfly video, like, I noticed those scratches, and I was just, you know, I'm just a perfectionist, so I didn't want scratches, especially in a jelly blue nail set to be showing, so I just did it a little different this time. After, I just put my top coat on all the rest of my nails, and then put another top coat where I put my decals, and I cured all that for 60 seconds. just loving this gem work I just wanted to go in with something that's blue and green so I love that it was just simple and it was just so cute like I really loved it when I was done I just cured that for 60 seconds and then I put my cuticle oil on and that's it I love the way they came out like I said I've never really used cat decals so I think they came out so cute of course, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, nos vemos en la próxima.